Hey there, Postal here. So, what are we in here? We are in the Tier 8 German multi-role fighter. It's really just a fighter, but I say just like it's a bad uh, aircraft. It definitely is not. This is the BVP-210. This is the infamous Batwing. Uh, this plane comes after the incredibly robust FW-190s. Um, you know, good air to ground damage on those planes, excellent firepower on those planes, decent airspeed, uh, poor maneuverability. And then you get this plane, which is ridiculous maneuverability. No air to ground armament to speak of, unless you take these little tiny air to air rockets right there and fling them at the ground. Uh, not necessarily recommended. Probably could have gotten both of those guys, but put all three salvos into that first guy. Oh well. Quick reload on these um, rockets. I think 55 seconds is what I've got it down to. I might even have it better than that. No more air targets here, so let's go ahead and head to the center. Try to avoid taking too much flak. And assume that our other multi-role and heavy fighter have the actual bombs needed to capture this sector. We're gonna head to the center. We've got 17 seconds on our rocket reload. It's P-47N, dude. You've got the ability to freaking attack the ground. Do it. Got him. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, we've even got a mining facility already. Let's see what we can do versus said Yak 3. Not sure we can do too much except try to kill him before he realizes we're here. Fortunately, two 20 millimeter cannons can be kind of underwhelming. We definitely need to get rid of this LA 9. I mean, LA 11, excuse me. Nice. I don't think he knew what was shooting at him until it was already shooting at him. So we were able to take advantage of that. Uh, we might actually get a gold dove out of this. Or as I call it, the uh, Fallen Angel. Alright, so what are we up against here? We've got some heavy fighters that are up a lot higher than I want them to be. We still haven't gotten this freaking command center, military base, whatever the hell it is. So let's go ahead and friggin' do something about that. And we get that sector. Oh my goodness, bots. Cannot rely on our bots, that's for sure. Get some airspeed. Yeah, we're going slow. Let's go faster. Faster. That's the closest thing to us. I cannot believe that we still haven't gotten this command center. It's mind blowing, to be honest. Of course, when I'm shooting like this, it's not as mind blowing. Maybe the bots are shooting this poorly too. The enemy is launching rockets at us from the military base. Take action. Finally, got ourselves a military base. There's that LA-11. Worry about him in a second. This ME 109TL is a very fast tier 8 multi roll. Definitely not a very maneuverable one. Fortunately, they've got in the center here. They can barely keep up with this guy. Go. Watch out for the heavy fighters that are inbound. Our military base is launching strikes on the enemy. This will make things easier for you. Don't really want to go against that guy, so let's not. Let's try to shoot something with less hit points, less armor. There we 
go. Excelente. Alright, now we can shoot this guy, I guess. Oh no, did I rocket him before I died? I don't think so. I think he killed me and then I rocketed him. Oh well, no gold above for me. I don't even know where my plane is right now. They've got both mining facilities. That's thoroughly annoying. Do they have somebody that's actually a decent ground attacker? Like, I don't see how they're doing this. Let's head to the center, and then we're going to push on through to their command center, to be honest. Um, do I reload my rockets? Not yet. Let's see if I need them for this guy here. Nope, can't do it. I guess we're reloading them anyway, aren't we? Excelente, let's keep on moving over here. Let's see if we can't get this command center. Military base, whatever it's called. I've got words, I know how to use them. Yak 3, um, I don't really want to attack. Heck, freaking three, but okay. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. They've almost got us. They've almost got us indeed. Yes, I noticed. at him again. We are controlling the military base. Whew. Give the enemy a hard time. Um, I think I'm going to die here. Uh, I just wanted to kill that freaking LA so bad cuz I knew he could outmaneuver me if I didn't if I didn't get my shot on him. I was dead. Um, so I got really lucky there that we were able to get our shot on him. Put new meta control assist on there as I'm sure you all saw. Oh crap. I don't have my air-to-air -air rockets, so going uh, directly against this ME-109TL is not the smartest way to play the game. Air supremacy achieved. We've got this LA-11 behind us. I need to get my freaking rockets back. Boost on. Keep on boosting away. That's what we do. <laughs> Run away. No Golubev, unfortunately. But got like four freaking Rocketeers. Just unfortunately not in the... All in the same uh, sortie. Oh, well. Uh, got ourselves a Lambert. A really good plane. I really like this BVP. Um, as a lot of people do. This wasn't like an overpowered play, uh, game by any means. It's certainly not the best game I've had in the BVP 210, but a lot of fun. Let's head back. All right, so we were able to get 17 kills. A pretty good amount of kills there, huh? Three more would have gotten the ace. Um, did a little bit of everything, which is, you know, kind of what you want to do in a multi-roll. Did uh, four sectors captured, was able to defend. Uh, only two while defending, so eh, could have done better there. Um, but overall had a positive impact on the overall game was able to kind of de determine uh, You know where we went is where where things happened um, Was afraid we were gonna lose this considering our team did not want to capture a freaking military base for the life of us uh, but oh well um, And yeah that you can this is this is just a great plane. Um, I don't know many people that set it up for speed uh, I I wouldn't necessarily recommend setting it up for speed and the reason being is it's got a decent amount of speed anyway but what makes this plane really is the maneuverability getting these air to air rockets on target getting these two eh, 20 millimeter cannons on target is definitely the way to go as far as 
my play style is concerned. Um, and yeah, it just makes for some really enjoyable games. Uh, the way that I've got this plane set up, as you can see, is exactly that. I figure what really helped me double down on the maneuverability over airspeed was putting the strength and hard points on here. Now, the strength and hard points help with the rocket reload speed. So instead of being 60 seconds, it's like 54 seconds. Um, and I'm certainly going to get that boosted um, even more. Hopefully get it down to like 50 seconds or 48 seconds eventually on the reload of the rockets. But strength and hard points impact the cruise speed. So since the cruise speed is being lowered anyway, let's not double down on you know, trying to add cruise speed that's being impacted negatively by the strength and hard points. Let's just let this, the, the speed be knocked down. And let's hop in on to the maneuverability. We've put our uh, lightweight wing frame on here. We've put our lightweight power unit on here to help the maneuverability. I've still gone ahead and put the um, uprated engine. I actually have an experimental uprated engine on here. Um, so that's giving me some of my airspeed back. In fact, it's probably giving me more airspeed than... Is it giving me more airspeed than I'm losing? 4.3% on the cruise speed. 4.2... Yeah, it technically is giving me my airspeed back. Um, plus, on top of that, I'm getting more acceleration without the boost and then whatever other bonuses that come from that. Um, but the reload speed on the rockets is really where the impact, no pun intended, of these rockets can't be understated. As you just saw in this particular battle, I was really able to put them to good use. Um, that LA-11 did really well now I think about it. The last um, f direct confrontation was able to outmaneuver me very, very well. Um, so kudos to him there. Last equipment, I've gone ahead and put the gyroscopic sight. Obviously, I want my accuracy of my guns to be impacted as much as possible. It also has helped 10% chance of inflicting critical damage and 10% of causing fire. Certainly not a bad thing on the equipment. As far as the consumables is concerned, this is my most basic um, consumables for a fighter, which is to put first aid kit, to put pneumatic control assist, to put engine cooling. Uh, my engine doesn't get knocked out all that often in this plane, believe it or not. My wings get knocked out more than my engine. I put universal ammo on here just because it helps. And because this plane has outboard weapons, the improved fragmentation certainly can't hurt with your air-to-air -air rockets. Again, doing more damage with these these things can definitely be an awesome thing. You can, you can use them. Yeah, obviously we used them here in a lot of, uh, you know, forward facing confrontations going head on versus an enemy. That's where they excel, of course, but you can still fire these at things like bombers that you know are going in straight lines, some ground attackers, things of that nature. So keep that in mind and the fragmentation definitely helps. Um, I've actually gone kind of all in when it comes to, you might as well put expert rocketeer on this plane. Chance of, inflict, of directly hitting an aircraft with your rockets is increased, always helpful. I did put air defense, air, excuse me, aerodynamics expert on here. Um, I think it's still the viable option. Eventually, I will be putting uh, aerobatics expert on here instead of aerodynamics expert. But the aerodynamics expert is helping anything that's positively impacting airspeed and maneuverability. So all three of these equipment slots are being positively impacted by this one skill. I'll probably go for aerobat aerobatics expert next, and then maybe change it to marksman two after I get the third point. Marksman two does cost three, where aerobatics costs two. Uh, you know, getting any kind of additional accuracy on your forward firing guns can't be a bad thing. So yeah, this plane is absolutely excellent plane. Even if you like the um, FW 190s, which I did very much so, you're still gonna love this plane. It's just one of those. Iconic World um, World of War planes, planes. Sound like I'm stuttering or something like that. But um, anybody that's seen this in battle goes, I want that plane, and rightfully so. What's even more awesome about this plane is it eventually leads you to the tier nine, which is even better if you can believe that. Um, the tier nine not only looks even better. I mean, look at this thing sleek, right? You still have those air-to-air -air rockets. You get an extra gun. So really, your firepower increases by 50%, if you can believe that. And yeah, you just get more maneuverability and more airspeed. In fact, a lot more airspeed. You actually get um, a lot more airspeed than maneuverability buff 
as far as uh, this plane is concerned. Um, and so this is a really, really good plane. Obviously, the Tier 8 is a really good plane as well. A lot of people um, enjoy it. I'm certainly one of them. I don't know many people that don't like this plane, to be honest. So there's a, there's a, you know, how many people can you say, how many planes can you say that about in this game? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. I actually had uh, this requested uh, for me to fly um, by Blitzkrieg. Um, happy to, to put a video out on this plane. Really enjoy flying it. Hope you enjoyed this particular gameplay. Got a lot of Rocketeers in it. And um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.